Tom Lehrer feels that with family medicine like that taking up so much of uh, everybody's time, programs like the news should concentrate on that rather than uh, trivial little subjects like Vietnam, prices and incomes and Rhodesia. And perhaps he's right. I think Noel Coward captured this best in his marvelous song, That is the End of the News. I'd like to sing some of it for you now. We are told very loudly and often to lift up our hearts. We are told that good humor will soften fate's cruelest darts. So however bad our domestic troubles may be, we just shake with amusement and sing with glee. Pains again, Grandma's in bed with her varicose veins again. The only result of Aunt Maud's operation has been gales of wind at the least provocation. We're so glad dear little Doris has just been expelled for assaulting Miss Morris. And Rover got rabies and bit several babies and then went after old Mrs. Hughes. We're delighted because Mom baked a cake and we all went to bed with Tomei. We're excited. They've been dragging the lake, but they still haven't found poor Aunt Jane. Three cheers, Ernie's got boils again. Everything's covered with ointments and oils again. Now he has seven, so God's in his heaven. And that is the end of the news. Da -da -da. We're so glad poor Mrs. Mason was doing the laundry downstairs in the basin when our old corroded gas heater exploded and all they could find were her shoes. We were done in by the mortgage foreclosure and Grandpa went out on a blind. He got run in for indecent exposure and ever so heavily fined. Hey-ho and hi-diddle-diddle, Aunt Isabel's shingles have met in the middle. <laughs> they sent her to Lourdes. But she didn't get cured. And that is the end of the news.